Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today we have a 10 minute Pilates ab workout with some light stretching. Starting at the back of the mat, take an inhale as you reach your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the head as you roll down and slowly walk out to a high plank position. From here, drop the knees down and just enjoy a child's pose. Take a deep breath in through the nose and let it go out through the mouth. Coming up onto the hands and knees, we'll move into some thread the needle. So take an inhale as you lift your left arm straight up to the ceiling. And now take an exhale as you twist, dropping the left cheek to the mat, reaching the left arm through. Enjoy this beautiful twist for the spine. And then take another inhale as you lift that left arm back up and place it down. Moving on to the other side, inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, drop the right cheek to the mat as you reach the right arm through. One more breath here. Lifting back up and moving into cat cow, arching the spine and pressing the hands into the floor as you round the spine. Take an inhale as you arch again. And if it feels good, this time when you round, let's come into a child's pose position and then roll back up into your cow. Just flowing through that if it feels good. Rounding to come up and arching to send the hips back. Beautiful. From here, tuck the toes underneath you, lift the knees and hips up, and enjoy this downward dog position, maybe pedaling through the feet if that feels good for you. A beautiful stretch for the low back and the backs of the legs as well. Press both heels down, and then from here, lift your heels up and slowly ripple through the spine all the way until you come to a plank position, bending the knees, shifting the weight back and coming back into your downward dog. Beautiful, lift the heels, ripple through the spine, bend the knees, shift the weight back and straighten. Now on this next one, ripple through the spine, drop the knees down, lower yourself all the way down. Keeping the elbows bent, place the fingertips at your sides nice and wide and take an inhale as you lift your upper body off of the mat and exhale, zip the abs to lower down. Good, inhale, lift the crown of the head, shoulders stay down and back, good. Should feel really nice on the spine, just rolling through this movement and really finding that zip of the abs on the way down to protect your low back here. Lower yourself all the way down and then go ahead and come into another child's pose here, this time with the knees nice and wide, releasing your low back, reaching the arms out in front of you, slowly rolling up and then just roll those shoulders down and back a few times, releasing any tension you might have in the neck shoulder area. And let's reach the right arm up to the ceiling, placing the right palm on your left cheek and then just gently dropping the head over to the right and then releasing the right palm down and switching over to the other side, left palm on the right cheek and then go ahead and release the palm. And then from here, we're gonna transition onto a seated position. We're gonna start seated nice and tall with the knees bent and the feet pressed into the floor. Grabbing onto the backs of the knees, take an inhale as you sit up tall and exhale, slowly roll all the way down. From here, place the palms down into the mat and then go ahead and bring your legs into a tabletop position. Finding that 90 degree angle with the legs, flex the feet and then slowly lower the heels down, tap them to the mat and lift back up using the core. Now this is called heels lowering. Definitely one of those Pilates exercises that looks quite simple, but if done correctly, you'll definitely feel that it is actually quite the burn. Really pressing your low back down into the mat as you lower the heels down, just a light tap and then lift with the abs. Good. Inhale to lower and then exhale to lift. Now keep your legs in a tabletop position as you extend your arms out to the side and then from here you're going to tilt the knees over to the right side of your body and then squeeze the abs to bring them back center. Over to the left, inhaling and then exhaling to bring them center. Good. Inhale right and exhale center. Don't be afraid to really press the palms into the floor to assist you here. And on this next one, I have an option for you. You can tilt the knees over, extend the legs out, and then use the abs to lift the legs back center, keeping them straight. The breath is the same, inhaling to tilt, and then exhaling to bring the legs center. Beautiful job. Let's just do two more, extend it out, use those abs, find that mind-muscle connection of your core doing the work. Last time, Extend, bring it center, and now go ahead and extend your left leg long on the floor. Right leg goes straight up to the ceiling and arms come to your sides. Take an inhale as you exhale, draw a small circle with the foot and bring it back center. So you're inhaling with the foot center, exhaling to circle. Just one more like that and we'll reverse it. 
Take an inhale, exhale, small circle reversing it. This movement is all initiated from the core. Really try to keep that torso still. Last one, inhale, exhale, circle. And from here, grab onto the back of the knee, lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, lift the left leg off, and then switch legs. Pulling one leg in at a time. Not here for long. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Keep the left leg extended. Rest the right leg down. Inhale and exhale. Draw a small circle around and out with that leg. Remember, keep it small. It's all from the core. Two more this way, and then we'll reverse it. Last one, bring it center and reverse. Inhale, bring it center. Exhale, small circle. Inhale, exhale, circle. Last one, circle, bring it center. Moving back into our single leg stretch. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Start pulling one leg in at a time. You have six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now keeping the knees bent as you place the feet down, place the arms by your sides, and you're gonna take an inhale as you lift your arms up to the ceiling and exhale, reach to the fingertips as you curl the chin over the chest. Inhale through the nose to lower and exhale through the mouth to lift. Getting up on the tips of the shoulder blades each time you reach through the fingertips, nice and long, beautiful. Inhale, lower, exhale, reach. And an option here to lift the legs into a tabletop position and continue on. So legs are at a nice 90 degree angle if you're in that tabletop position, knees over the hips. And another option is to extend the legs as you lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Remember, these are all just options. Every option I've shown is a great Pilates exercise. Continuing to connect to your breath to keep the rhythm of the movement. And whatever option you're in, on your next one, you're going to hold it and you're going to start pumping your arms down, going into our hundreds, breathing in for two and out for two. That sounds like this. Good, keep that breath, you're almost there. Can you curl up a little deeper? One last breath and release. Taking a second to hug the knees in and maybe circling the knees around and out if that feels good for your hips and your low back. Now from here, we're gonna move on to our bent leg, single leg stretch. So you're gonna extend your left leg long and then you're gonna hug your right knee into your chest and then you'll lift your head, neck and shoulders off of the mat Lift the left leg up, and then you're gonna start pulling one knee in at a time here. Just a few more like this, and then we'll move on to our double leg stretch. So hugging both knees into the chest, inhale, lengthen everything out. Exhale, wrap the arms around as you hug the knees in. Last one like this, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, wrap, and then from here, hands go behind the head. Right leg is gonna to come to a tabletop position. Now extend your right leg out as you lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Breathe for three, switch, two, last one. Both legs come to a tabletop. Now extend your right leg long and shoot the left leg out as you extend the right leg straight up to the ceiling. Good, breathe and curl a little deeper if you can. Last one and then moving into bicycles. So crossing your right elbow to your left knee and then switching to the other side. You've got this. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and gently hug the knees in. And let's move on to the spine stretch. So from here, grab onto the backs of the knees and slowly roll yourself all the way up. And then you'll extend your legs out in front of you, mat width apart. Lift your arms out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale and on your exhale, begin to round the spine as you reach the arms forward. And then you'll take an inhale as you slowly restack your spine, sitting up tall on your sits bones. Inhale, exhale, head drops, reach forward, find that deep contraction, and then slowly roll it back up on an inhale. Beautiful. One more like that, really keeping the abs engaged as you reach forward and inhaling to slowly restack the spine. Place the hands down, just drop the head and take a nice stretch here, placing the hands on the floor in front of you. Now slowly roll up and extend your arms out to your sides, sit up nice and tall. From here, twist over to the right. Round the spine as you flip the right palm up to the ceiling, reaching the left palm to the right toes and then bring it back center. Twist to the left, contract as you reach forward, lifting back up and bringing it center. The breath is inhale center, exhale twist, inhale contract, exhale lift, and inhale center. To the left, twist, reach, flip the palm, roll up, 
and bring it center, sitting tall. Nice job. Now bring your feet together, keeping the arms out. Take an inhale, sitting tall. On your exhale, you're gonna twist to the right, take two pulses, and then bring it back center to the left. You're really using your core here to take those two little pulses. The breath is inhale center and exhale twice as you twist. Inhale, exhale, shh, shh. Last one, twist to the left, stay tall and release. Beautiful job, arms up to the ceiling. Take a nice forward fold there. Enjoy this stretch and then slowly roll up through the spine and you're gonna cross your right foot over your left knee. We're gonna come into a nice twist here. So go ahead and bend the left knee and bring that left foot in as well. And then reach the left arm up to the ceiling and cross it over the right knee, finding that nice twist. And you can think of your right palm as almost like a second spine, keeping you up nice and tall here. One more twist, really looking over the right shoulder. And then from here, coming center and placing that right knee on top of the left foot now. And from here, lift the arms up to the ceiling and take a forward fold either placing the palms or the forearms on the floor, whatever feels better for your body here. Take a couple really nice big breaths in through the nose and let it go out through the mouth. And again, coming up on the forearms if needed. I know this can be an intense stretch sometimes. Take one last breath here and then we'll go ahead and slowly roll up and we're going to switch to the other side. So this time you're going to have your left foot crossed over your right knee, and from there, reach the right arm up to the ceiling, crossing the right elbow over the left knee, finding a beautiful twist. Again, that left arm is really acting as a second spine, helping you sit up nice and tall. Looking a little further over the left shoulder, and then gently bringing the left knee to the right foot, folding forward, and coming back into this nice hip opener. Amazing job today. I hope you enjoyed this ab burner with a light stretch and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.